welcome welcome my lovely youtubers so welcome from me and my dog who's underneath here she's a rescue and she likes to hide and snuggle in because this is a class all about snuggling in and learning how to really get a really gorgeous shavasana and learn to really deeply relax in it it's actually what you're getting here is the first in a series which I have called Sweet Shavasana and I'm giving you access to the whole series for complete free. So you can get the first one here on YouTube. To get the rest of them, you just click the link which is below in YouTube. It'll flick you over to my online studio and you can just get in there for free and look for Sweet, sweet Shavasana, all for free. Welcome, welcome yogis to our first class together. For this class, you're gonna need access to a wall and um, a, a blanket underneath by the wall. This is, you're gonna put your bottom against this as a little bit of warmth. You can see I'm nice and warm when I've got socks on. I've also got a weight here. This is a sandbag. You could use a bag of rice. I've got some eye pillows. I've in fact got three, one for my eyes and one for each our hand to add a little bit of weight into my hands. I've also got a yoga strap, all will be revealed in a minute. I have a little pillow here in the form of a blanket and uh, a rolled up towel. You can see I roll this up nice and firmly and this is gonna go in the nape of my neck for um, a lovely support to my neck. So get your room lovely and comfortable. And in each of these classes, I'm going to be taking you through uh, a descriptor of the feeling of bliss. Because Shavasana ultimately should feel very blissful. And um, the, the, the sensation of bliss is said to have five distinguishing factors. And today's class is, the Sanskrit word for this is chit. C-I-T, sometimes spelt um, C-H-I-T. This is, a, the chit means a, an awareness, a consciousness. And in, in this um, format, it will be a, a consciousness of your bliss body, of feeling grounded and settled. Hence the bit of weight and really trying to get our back body onto the mat. I've also put here, this little pink cloth here is, um, another blanket just to soften the mat, okay? So get your mat close against the wall and I'll start to bring you in. I find the easiest way of getting in here is to kind of reverse up to the wall. So I nestle my bottom. So I'm, as you can see, I'm on the blanket here. I nestle my bottom up against the wall. Okay, and then swing the legs up and then start to readjust kind of inchworming my way. So the back of my pelvis is on this lovely blanket. And uh, I realize I've put my things a little bit far away so I can pull my pillow down and put that lovely blanket roll right into the nape of my neck. So my cervical spine, my neck, get some support. All right, then I'm gonna take my yoga strap and I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna tie my legs together. This is so that my legs can really relax into themselves and I don't have to worry about keeping them up, all right? So I'm gonna put that loop over my legs and tighten it up. You could use a dressing gown cord, of course, or anything like that. Oh, I've got a twist here. Tighten them up. And then additionally, I've got a bag of sand here, um, but you could use a bag of rice. You could use a yoga block, but just be careful. A yoga block might fall on your nose. So just be careful. And I'm gonna put that on the soles of my feet. And you could get someone to help you do that and put my legs up the wall. If your hamstrings are a little bit tighter, you might want to be a little bit further away from the wall than I am. And then flex your toes a couple of times. Make sure you're really comfortable, make the lights are dim. So this will add some nice weight to your legs. So just close your eyes, take some deep breaths in. In through your nose, out through your mouth. 
start to feel your legs relax against the strap. So they don't have to hold. Allow the weight of the sandbag to draw down your legs. You might want to adjust the back of your pelvis a couple of times to make sure it's really comfy on the blanket there. And then you can put your eye pillow over your eyes. And if you do happen to have some extra eye pillows, you could pop them in your hands and bring them to the side. So a little bit of weight in your hands. If this doesn't feel good for you, you could also bring your hands and just turn them onto your tummy like so. All right, get comfortable. Okay, maybe just scoot your shoulder blades under you a little bit more. And again, take a deep breath in through your mouth. Exhale through the mouth. And then start come to a gentle breath through both nostrils, in through your nose and out through your nose. making an emphasis on the exhale. So we get this sense of being connected to our body and to the earth. We're conscious, conscious of where we are in space. And you're conscious of what you're doing. You're actually relaxing into yourself to allow yourself to unwind and let go. So feel the weight on your feet. Feel the weight down the bones of your legs, which then plug into your hips. And feel the full back of your pelvis on your blanket there. Take a breath up the length of your spine and then feel the back of your shoulders held by the mat. The back of your neck held by your blanket roll. The back of your head supported on the earth. The backs of your elbows and hands little weights in your hands. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale through your nose, consciously let that exhale be long and deep. Surrender into this deep place. Inhale now for four. Three, two, one, and exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one, and exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going like that. Really the exact number doesn't count, but it's that sensation of an extra long exhale and the sensation that comes with that exhale of sinking back. being conscious of your body, how it's linked to your breath, how that is in turn linked to your internal state. and in turn into this sensation of bliss and ease. 
So take a couple more breaths like that, really focusing on that exhale, grounding and letting go. And now, relaxing back into the sensation of being self, safe, held, supported. Feel all tension draining from your feet, down the legs into the whole back body. And then for a minute or two now, we simply surrender, surrender, surrender. And then take a couple of rounds of breath here. As you exhale, really sighing into and feeling into and knowing what you, good you have done yourself here. This knowing of feeling the bliss. And returning from this as gently as we can so we can bring as much of it with us as we come back remembering that you have weights in various places so keeping your eyes closed just gently turn your palms release the eye pillows from your hands as you bring your hands to your tummy Start to listen to the sounds in the room. I can hear my doggy snoring. Some sounds of cars outside. And the wind in the trees. And slowly, if you have an eye pillow on, you can remove that. Don't open your eyes yet, but you will feel more light flood the brain. And then just being super careful as we come out, you can start to bend your knees, slide the feet down the wall. I'm going to pop the sandbag against the wall and slide it under my feet down the wall. and remove it. Drawing my knees in, I slide the belt off as well. 
and hug your knees to your chest. Isn't that beautiful? So be conscious of this bliss-filled space. Aware of how gorgeous it feels to visit here. And then very slowly bringing ourselves back, roll to the side which is uh, good for you in your space. Gently, slowly coming back up to a seat. Eyes closed again. Once more, just feeling into and being totally chit conscious of this space. Bring your hands to your heart center. Namaste, yogis. So I really hope you enjoyed that class. Hope it was wonderful. Do remember now to click on the link below and go and get the rest of the classes and maybe you can do them one a day for the next week and really tune into this beautiful zone of resting, healing and restoring. Namaste.